Hello. Um, I haven't really made a video for a while because I haven't had much to show, but um, after I've now had to show people several times how to install my Python macros, um, I decided it was time to just make a video about them. I originally wanted to wait until I had done absolutely everything I had done with uh, Auto Hotkey and Python 2, but um, at the mo moment it looks like I'm not gonna really bother doing that because it's really just not worth the effort overall. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with uh, showing what I have so far and publishing it. So um, a few things that you gotta know uh, are the dependencies for them. Uh, so um, the main file that everything uses is the Minecraft base.py. Uh, the dependencies it has are primarily PyAuto GUI, AutoPy, and uh, the Win32 API on Windows, or the xdo tool command line tool on Linux. Now, um, I've sh shown in a previous video how AutoPy is installed. As for PyAuto GUI, you can just install that using pip. Uh, on Windows, the command would be something along the lines of uh, py with Python being your Python install path, or just Python if you've added it to your actual Windows path already. Uh, pip install. I think it is actually called my Auto GUI. Uh, I yeah, I was right. Uh, so. Can't it find a connection? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> so you get the point. Um, install PyAuto GUI. On Windows, you have to do the same thing for the uh, Win32 API, which is called PyPyWin32, just like that. Um, and on Linux, you need XDo tool. In my case, on Arch Linux, uh, I can just do pkr s XDo tool. Um, Depends on your distribution, which one you're gonna have to deal with. So, anyways, uh, that's my recording screen. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, um, now to get to into the actual explanation of the macros, it's a total of three files, um, with the debug screen reader uh, file being for reading your debug screen and in general reading numbers. Um, both are Included in that file, uh, the debug reader class actually inherits from the number reader class, which you can also use to use read other numbers. Uh, for example, in uh, your hotbar or something along those lines. Do whatever you wish. Uh, then there is also the inventory management file, which in essence just specifies all possible coordinates where items can be at in your inventory um, and that also for several versions uh, for all I know the macros are compatible with uh, all versions from uh, 111 through, uh, uh, through to one, uh, not from 111 from 17 through to 112 uh, I've done no testing with 113 but I think it should be all the same I mean it's just a matter of the c positions in the uh, debug screen or the inventory, which um, should also be trivial to fix if uh, it breaks at some point. I'm not really planning to keep them updated for the time being because I'm not messing around in those versions much. I've been mostly playing in 1.7 and such, so yeah. Regardless, um, the third c um, file that you need to know about is the micro-based.py, which is um, a file containing various classes for various utilities ne needed by the other two. Um, on, Linux, on Linux and Windows I have uh, a specific mouse function, uh, on Linux I also need some other stuff, stuff uh, to get the mouse location or um, to run commands, uh, that's sometimes not really necessary on Windows. Um, for example, for then I also have a method to get the version numbers, which I'm downloading from a GitHub um, page, and uh, 
restoring them to this version numbers.json, which uh, you can take a look at. It's a bit of a mess, but yeah. Basically, this specifies which uh, how l high the version is. So, for example, 112 is later than 111.2, or which is easy to to figure out. But it's not so easy to figure out that 112 is later than 15w13a, if that existed. To give an example, at least. So yeah. Um, then there's also the version class, which is just a utility class for storing and uh, comparing versions. There is the Minecraft Window class, which is heavily platform dependent and therefore has two different definitions. Um, which basically is used to uh, use used to manage the Minecraft window, get its version, etc. Uh, there's the options class, which just reads in your options uh, .txt from the Minecraft um, .minecraft folder. Uh, poor luck to everyone using multi MC and such. I am, but I've just basically uh, taking a bunch of sim links and linked it to my original .minecraft folder because otherwise I'd have to actually bother sorting out my worlds and I have several hundred, so yeah. There's the pixel post class which is um, a utility for managing all positions on your screen. And there is finally the screenshot class uh, which just takes care of uh, taking screenshots without having to use the autoplay interface directly. So yeah, um, to now get to how it's actually used, one of the simplest examples is instantiating um, the debug reader directly and then for example printing the XYZ coordinates. So for example for that to work I'd have to print that. Yes, this is Python 2, who cares. Um, so if I just do that, and it's going to not work, but <laughs> uh, line 7 module, am I too, s right, I made this into a property a while ago, um, this means I don't need the brackets, <laughs> I'm sorry, so you can see it uh, reads out my coordinates correctly, minus some floating point errors which are to be expected. So yeah, um, regardless of that, uh, you can do the same thing for your rotation, which is just going to work as well. Um, and then there are a bunch of higher level interfaces too for the, there are a bunch of helper methods, methods here in, in here by the way too, uh, ignore those, uh, higher level interfaces. Uh, so. The most interesting being um, look at points, get vector and get speed. I don't think I need to demonstrate get vector and get speed. Basically, they take in a time over which they are going to sample uh, the positions that you're um, walking and then give you the vector which you walked by, or respectively, the speed which you walked by. Uh, look at point does pretty much what it says. So. Um, for example, if we now say, look at point, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, look at point, uh, I'm sorry, it takes in a position, if it's relative, so a position relative to your actual current coordinates, and if you're sneaking, because that changes your eye height. Sorry, I had to sneeze again. Um, so, for now, we're just going to use the position, which um, is in our tuple. Uh, that tuple can, for example, be, let's look at the coordinates of this block, uh, 2010. Uh, you always need to specify offsets, of course. Uh, uh, 2010, 7.5, um, 180.5, right? So, if I now go somewhere around here and... Uh, move over into the up onto the other screen. This is gonna move the mouse a bit and it looked at the right position. Easy. Uh, this can be very useful for certain applications. Um, 
it is allows for much more precision than uh, using the relative mode too. So I would always advise using the absolute mode and just calculating the coordinates which you gotta be looking at. Um, another feature which is probably Im interesting is um, the walk to block feature. Uh, so for ex to demonstrate that, uh, I can again just oh I'm sorry uh, for seven. <sighs> I can again just uh, give it some coordinates. So I say walk two block. Um, then you gotta give it s the speed which you wanna be walking at, which in our case is just two because we wanna sprint, for example. And the effect which we have, which is no effect, um, which is this refers to the level of speed that you got yet you have. And as you can see, it walks for you and arrives in the right location, roughly. It's more accurate if you use sneaking. Uh, so yeah. Um, so this is for the most part the, the methods that you're going to be using in the debug screen reader. Um, the inventory management is uh, pretty simple to explain to. I'm just going to go ahead and explain it using uh, the simple survival mode inventory, Tori, right? Uh, so what you do is um, you create an inventory class, which um, then has a certain, uh, which needs to be passed a version and a pixel pass object. Uh, to create these two, <laughs> now it's getting a bit more into the meat of things. Um, you have to first create a micro window object. So uh, to start out, um, window equals. Uh, actually, I need to import import Minecraft base as MC base, and I need to import inventory management as inf manage. Manage. There we go. Uh, so window is MC base dot um, uh, Minecraft window, and that doesn't take any parameters. Now, using the Minecraft window, as you can see right here, you can um, and you also need an options object. I'm sorry. So then you need an options object, which is just an MC C base dot options, which again doesn't take any parameters. And then you need uh, to create a pixel pass object, which takes in a GUI scale and a window rectangle. The GUI scale you can get from the options object. Uh, to get that, I can just copy the example from right here, which is uh, options dot get option. Right. Uh, so basically, you say, um, what? All oh right. Pix pass equals mc base dot pixel pass um, of uh, options dot get option um, gui scale. And of window dot window rectangle. Right. So now you've successfully created a uh, the suitable pixel post object, and um, yeah, that looks all right. Now you just uh, need to go on and um, from it, and using the version that you can also obtain from. Uh, the micro, uh, the window class uh, create an inventory class. So inf equals inf manage dot inventory tory of uh, pix pass and a window dot uh, what's it called get version and you're done. Now you have a properly working inventory object.
Now, the problem is that these inventory objects do not actually contain regular lists. They contain exclusively generators. It's, this is more efficient uh, if you're interested in only using those. But if you want to create, want to rather have a randomly accessible list, you can call the create lists method, which is in the container class inherit, which all the containers inherit from. Uh, in order to do that, you have to, you either specify lists, or you just don't specify the list, and it's going to do everything for you. So that's what I'll do. Uh, so you basically say inf dot um, create lists done. Now, uh, if you now say want to access your slot down here, you have to give it the suitable ID, and this ID you can determine because of the order of these items here. Uh, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 through uh, 17, this would be 26, this would be 35. So that's pretty easy and um, now what you just say is inventory dot inventory, which is the actual inventory, you could also access your crafting window by specifying I think crafting field or something, I don't know. You can look it up in the actual code, Python is nice and readable so it's no problem. Uh, so inventory.inventory at slot 18 and uh, oh I think I pressed yes. Um, so then you and th th to this position you want to move your mouse. So you say MC base dot move mouse mouse move okay sure and then give it that position and you're done. Um, so this is now where your mouse is going to go and in order to get the items from that that slot now uh, you just say uh, MC base I don't want to import autopy right now so I just take the already in in imported instance from the in from the Minecraft base class and I think it's called Right. So you say autopy.mouse.click and you can click that position. Uh, so now in order to test it, just hit the key. Um, options instance has no attribute get option. Is it get? No, I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> uh Minecraft window options is it read options has a chain has a oh <laughs> capitalization is important right 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 okay uh <laughs> let's hope this works um ah damn <laughs> seriously uh none type has no attribute version Why has window.get version returned none? I'm not gonna edit this out. This debugging is probably actually semi important. Uh, uh, and I don't edit anyway, so whatever. <laughs> uh, Win32 IDOI. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Um, I did it not find my Microsoft window. That's strange. Um. Now down. Uh, get version. Oh right, I actually I'm stupid. It's not get version. Get version just modifies the variable. I need to say window dot version. Get version just modifies checks this rechecks this variable. So if I now do this, it's gonna select my items and click them. So yeah, um, I think that should give you a pretty comprehensive overview. Um, of the actual macro. Uh, I again can only recommend reading through the code a bit and trying to understand what's actually going on. Um, most of it should be totally cross-platform so if you write a macro with this um, it's gonna work on Linux just as well as it will work on Windows. Um, I have no clue if it's gonna work or I'm sure it won't work on Mac OS X, but who cares? Mac OS X user, users don't have the right to use macros, clearly. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
I guess that's really all that had to be shown, so, um, yeah.